Arthritis of the fingers. Diagnosing arthritis of the fingers can be difficult. Arthritis can affect any joint in the body, but it is commonly seen in the joints of the fingers. These are the different types of arthritis and the pattern of joint involvement. Osteoarthritis, psoriatic arthritis, gouty arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis of the fingers are characterized by Heberden nodes. Heberden nodes are hard or bony swellings that can develop in the distal interpharyngeal joints, the DIP, and may or may not be painful. The Heberden nodes are caused by the formation of osteophytes due to repeated trauma at the joint and usually occurs during middle age. Bouchard's nodes. Bouchard's nodes are bony growths that can form on the proximal interpharyngeal joints of the fingers, which is the PIP. Bouchard's nodes, like Heberden's nodes, may or may not be painful. Bouchard's nodes are typically associated with limited motion of the affected joint. And mucus cyst, small fluid-filled sacs that form between the DIP joint of the finger and the bottom of the fingernail. The best treatment of mucus cyst is surgical excision of the cyst and the removal of the underlying osteophyte to decrease the risk of recurrence. Then the second one, psoriatic arthritis. It is an inflammatory form of arthritis. Sometimes it may be mistaken for osteoarthritis. Psoriatic arthritis will include dactylitis. It's referred to as a sausage digit inflammation of the entire digit. The sausage finger is a major finding of psoriatic arthritis. Nail pitting. Nail pitting is small depressions in the fingernails and it is most common in people who have psoriasis. Gouty arthritis. Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis that's sometimes called gouty arthritis. Gouty arthritis will mimic infection and may develop in people who have high levels of uric acid in the blood. The uric acid can form needle-like crystals in the joint and cause pain, tenderness, swelling, and tenosynovitis. Periarticular erosion seen on x-ray may also be present with gout of the finger joints. The periarticular erosions are usually multiple and bilateral with sclerotic borders. Rheumatoid arthritis. Juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. The antinuclear antibody is positive in 30% of the time. Rheumatoid factor is negative in a child and later on it may become positive. The child will have shortened digits. Here you can see is a normal joint. And here you can see a swollen inflamed synovial membrane. In the juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, the polyarticular rheumatoid arthritis type is a form of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that affect five or more joints. It's polyarticular in about 30%. Posse articular onset juvenile arthritis is a form of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that affect less than five joints. It occurs in about 50%. In the posse articular onset juvenile idiopathic arthritis, check the iris of the eye for iridocyclitis. In the polyarticular rheumatoid arthritis, check the cervical spine for subaxial instability. Rheumatoid arthritis of the hand. It occurs more in females than in males.
Rheumatoid arthritis has a spontaneous remission and exacerbations, and the disease can have a systemic nature. Rheumatoid arthritis is typically polyarticular, bilateral, and symmetrical, and most commonly affect the hands and feet. The patient complains of pain and the stiffness of joints, especially in the morning, morning stiffness. The X-ray will show periarticular erosions at the time of diagnosis. Osteopenia and minimal osteophyte formation favors the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. What are the stages of rheumatoid arthritis of the hand? Early acute, hot, swollen, tender joints, synovitis. It can affect the wrist joint. It will have wrist swelling or the MCP swelling. It can also have flexor tenosynovitis. The disease can be complicated by digital vasculitis, ecchymosis, skin atrophy, and nodules, as you can see here in this diagram. The disease can also be advanced, swelling of the MCP joint, lateral slippage of the extensor tendons and tendon ruptures, ulnar deviation of the fingers. X-ray will show destruction of the MCP joints with subluxation, ulnar deviation, and rest destruction. Finger deformities can be a mallet finger, a boitinier finger, or a swan neck deformity. The thumb is also involved. These changes can occur due to proliferation, inflammation, and the hypertrophy of the synovium. Involvement of the distal radioulnar joint is usually associated with rupture of the extensor digiti minimi. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.